Yes, Daisy. It's called Belle. Hello! We didn't see you there. Welcome to Pre-K Sunday with Miss Ario. That's me. And that was my house kitten, Daisy. We are so excited to have you in class today. But before we get into the lesson time, let's sing our doxology. Now, Mother Duck, oh, get off, get off, I'm so, it's so nice to be here. I'm so happy to be parent volunteer of the month. Well, actually, of the year, oh, well, Mother Duck is one of our most dedicated parent volunteers in Pre-K Sunday, and this is her baby, Quack, Baby Duck. So, Mother Duck, would you and Baby Duck like to meet us in the doxology? Well, of course, Baby Duck, are you ready? Quack! Please stand while we sing the doxology. And remember, kids, the doxology is calling everyone together to praise and worship God. Hey, baby duck. Quack, quack. Would you like to praise and worship God? Quack. That means yes. All right, Miss Ariel, can you press play? Of course, Mother Duck. All ye who are of tender heart, forgiving others, take your part. Sing his praises, alleluia. He who long pain and sorrow bear, praise God and on him cast your care. Oh, praise him, oh, praise him, alleluia. your orchestra. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Great job. Let all things their creator bless and worship him in humbleness. Oh, praise him. Alleluia. Praise, praise the Father, praise the Son, and praise the Spirit three in one. Oh, praise him, oh, praise him, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. That was just beautiful, kids. Now give yourselves a round of applause. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> Great job, baby duck. High five. Thank you so much for leading us, Mother Duck. Well, of course, anytime, quack! And I just love helping out in pre-K Sundays, you know? It's so exciting to know that I am helping children learn about God. Oh, yes, you are. And we are so thankful for you, Mother Duck. Now, I will set you right here. And now it would be time for our memory verse. That's right, Lionel, but it seems I haven't heard. I'll get it now. On the mail. Let's see what it is. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. It is the complete works of William Shakespeare. Oh yes, Miss Audio. You see, I do not have a valid address, so I decided to have my Shakespearean materials delivered to Pre-K Sunday. You see, Lionel and I are taking a Shakespearean acting course via Zoom. Zoom! 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 Oh, all right, I'm, I'm so glad you are acting on Zoom, but you know, I, I am afraid that that is not going to help us with our memory verse. <laughs> we'll get it now! Mail time is our favorite time of day. It's the best for the Sunday cabinet. All right, um, thank you so much, Lyle and Sally, for helping me get the mail. That was a little more complicated than it had to be, but let's see what it is. A bunny? Oh, yeah! You see, I don't really have an address in the ocean, so I just decided to deliver my present for my baby brother. My, my, my to, to pre-K Sunday. Thank you so much, Kevin. Of course, Kyle, I wanted to love my neighbor by giving him a little present to cheer him up. Well, I am so glad that you are loving your neighbor, your baby brother, by giving him a little cheery present. Um, So here you go, Kyle. Thank you so much! Wait, I have something to do. Yes, Kyle. And why are you raising your hand? Well, I want to share my bunny with you, Miss Ariel. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Kyle. That is so kind of you. You see, Kevin loved his neighbor, Kyle, and Kyle is loving 
his neighbor my miss named Miss Aria by sharing the joy with her. Thank you so much, Kyle, and thank you, Kevin. That was so very kind of you. Of course, anytime! But <laughs> it seems that I still don't have something to help me with my... <laughs> I'll get it now. Meal time is my favorite time of day, and I have a good feeling about this one. It says, to Miss Aria and the kids from God. Hmm, and how does God speak to us? What is the book he gave us? Because he loves us so, so very much. The Bible. Where did that come from? It came from over here. Oh, Chucky, I didn't even realize you were still in the gift bag from last week. Well, it proved to be a really nice habitat. Well, um, Chucky, uh, I'm glad you enjoy your your habitat. Yes, and it even has these beautiful, colorful stripes, and, and uh, uh, you know, it's also kind of warm in here. Well, <laughs> I, I'm sure that the bag is nice and insulated. So, um, anyway, do you want to tell us a little bit about the Bible? Yeah, the Bible is God's word, and it's the wonderful things he wants us to know about him. Because he loves us, I'm going to have to get out of my bag to stretch this much. He goes, this much! Woo! Shermit taught me that! Oh, well, um, I'm so glad Shermit taught you this trick. Yes, the Bible is God's word, and it's the wonderful things he wants us to know about him because he loves us so, so very much. He loves us as far as the east is from the west, as far as the north is from the south. He loves us so, so very much, so he gave us this book so we can learn all about him. Now, uh, Chucky, since you uh, answered all the way from your wonderful gift bag, would you like to lead us in the memory verse? Oh yeah, let me step out for a second. All right, goodbye, Habitat. Now, it goes like this. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. <gasps> wonderful job, Chucky. Now give me a round of applause. Yeah, ba 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 ba. Yeah, ba 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 ba. Sorry, I'm still kind of in party mode. <laughs> well, that is very funny, Chucky. Yeah, you know, since Chucky Cheese was closed, I, I really like to party everywhere. Oh, all right. Well, um, anyway, how about we just put you back in your in your party gift bag? There you go. And um, yes, it is be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. And Daisy, did you hear that? Yes, Daisy is climbing behind the pineapple, <laughs> scaling walls. Now, Bowlam, yes, Miss Aria, would you like to lead us in the memory verse? Oh, oh my, Daisy, <laughs> are you okay, Daisy? Yes, yes, are you okay, Daisy? You see, I want to love my neighbor, even though you kind of made the pineapple knock over. You didn't mean to do anything wrong, did you, Daisy? No, she didn't. It's okay, Daisy. Now, um, it's not quite time for the pineapple of wonder yet, but how about Bolam? Oh, Chuck! Oh, no! Sorry! It's okay, Daisy. You didn't hurt me. All right, well, Chucky is... I'm gonna love my neighbor by giving you my space. All right. Well, Chucky is loving his neighbor by letting Daisy uh, take her place where she wants to. And now, let's do the memory verse again, okay? It goes like this. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. <gasps> Wonderful job. Now, let's all do that together. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're loving your neighbor by helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what great ways to love our neighbors today. And um, let's do the memory verse just one more time together. It is Ephesians 4.32, and it goes like this. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Wonderful job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. And now it is time for the pineapple of wonder. Now, let's see what's inside. Wowie, kasawie. That was pretty amazing. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is our craft today. You see, you are going to fold a piece of paper and trace your hand. Maybe you have an adult help you. Then they're going to help you cut your hand out and you can write 
pray to remind you to put your hands together and say a prayer to God. So pray is spelled P-R-A-Y. And I hope this is a craft that can remind you that God hears our prayers. Now, our story today is about a man who said a humble prayer to God. Being humble means that we realize we are imperfect. We are not as big and great and wonderful as God. So we can come to him humbly and ask for forgiveness. And guess what? Because God is wonderful and God is awesome, he hears our prayers and forgives us. So let's all say a prayer before we get into the lesson. Let's all shake out our hands. Whoops, that was almost broken. And get our energy out and then we're going to put them together we're going to talk to God. Dear God, thank you for the kids watching the lesson today. Thank you that we can learn about you. Thank you that you hear our prayers and help us to have humble hearts so that we can honor you and learn more and more about you and share your love with our neighbors. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, let's get to the lesson, shall we? Alrighty, friends, do you remember what a parable is? Why, yes, Miss Sario, it is a simple story used to teach a lesson. Simple lesson! As a wise man once said, tis better to be simple and deep than complex and shallow. Indeed, Sally, indeed. That's right. Jesus used parables to teach lessons to his followers, and we get to learn from the parables that are in the Bible. Now, I have a question for you. Does God call us to be humble? Does he call us to be kind and compassionate and forgiving? <laughs> the answer is yes, he does, because he is kind and compassionate and forgiving towards us. Now, Jesus told this parable to some men who were not humble. They thought that they were better than everyone else. This is called the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Our story is from the book of Luke, chapter 18. It says, To some who were confident of their own righteousness, and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Wait! They looked down on everyone else? So they were taller? Ah! Jesus was talking to giants! Oh no, Kevin! QC, looking down on someone is a figure of speech. It means that they were a bit pretentious, <laughs> a bit hoity-toity. You see, they thought they were better than everyone else. They were so vain. They probably thought this song was about them. Oh, okay. I get it now. So, uh, anyway, what was the story that Jesus told? Hey, Daisy. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I think she wants some kibble. Chicken or fish flavored? Well, I was just about to get to that, Kevin. It says here, Jesus said, Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. That's right. Good girl, Daisy. You see, the Pharisees were religious leaders. They thought they were practically perfect, and they were proud of their status. But no, 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 don't stick to the status quo. I'm Lila. Yes, Miss Audio. This really isn't the appropriate time for high school musical references. But what if we bop, 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 bop to the top? All right, just uh, one second. Any, oh, oops. Any what? The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, 
evil doers, adulterers, or even like hmm, this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. On the other hand, the tax collectors weren't so popular. They weren't so popular. Many of the tax collectors didn't really do the right thing all the time. They were sinners. But guess what? What? Well, we are all sinners. The Bible says that we all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means that we're not perfect. But guess what? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Wait, what was that one thing, Kyle? Great job. Oh, hey there, Daisy. What was that one thing? Uh, well, it was to raise my hand. And anyway, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus cares about all of us. He always has. And, uh, well, uh, sorry, Miss Aria, we can get off of our soapbox. But that was exactly what I was going to say, Kevin and Kyle. You see, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He loves us just that much. Ah, uh, Miss Aria! Yes, Kevin? Can we raise our hands for high fives? <laughs> of course, Kyle. And Kevin, here you go, Kyle. Here you go, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Aria! But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven. He was so ashamed. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, the tax collector, rather than the other, the Pharisee, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humble. And those who humble themselves will be exalted. <laughs> you see, Jesus was explaining to the men that God rejects the proud but gives grace to the humble. James 4.10 said, oh, whoops, Messiah 2. Oh, of course, the lamp. Here you go. Thank you so much. Anyway, James 4.10 says, humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. When we are humble, we realize that we are not perfect, but God gives us his forgiveness <laughs> because he loves us this much. <laughs> we know that out of grace, God saved us. We don't have to prove anything to God. We don't have to brag about ourselves or puff ourselves up to make ourselves more important. God knows our hearts. All we have to do is say a simple, humble prayer like the tax collector in the story, trusting in God's mercy. Miss Aria, Miss Aria, Miss Aria! Oh, wait. Yes, Kevin? May I say a prayer for us? Of course, Kevin. All right, shake out your hands to get all your energy out and then put them together and we're going to talk to God. Dear God, thank you for this story. Thank you that you loved us from the beginning and give us grace and mercy. And because of Jesus, we can be a part of your family forever and ever. Help us to learn to be humble so we can give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, I'm Mr. Bunnyface. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Pre-K Sunday. It was so fun learning about God with you. Now I hope you enjoy doing your craft and praising and worshiping God. And we will see you next week, won't we, Daisy? You want to play with Bunny? Fetch days! You see, I love my neighbor, Daisy, by lending her my bunny. Ray! Yes, you did do just that, Kyle. All right, we will see you next week. Bye-bye now. Let me wave bye with my eight arms and my eight arms. Wait, that's like, wait. Sixteen arms. Bye! So before
before you go on your way today, Miss Ario told your parents in her newsletter that if you, that being you, the one watching the video, have a question you would like answered in pre-K Sunday, just they, your, your parents can email, type a little email to Miss Ario, and they should have her email address. And um, you can ask us any question you want, whether it's about Jesus and the Bible, or about the Pineapple of Wonder, or about any of your pre-K Sunday friends. We are happy to answer your questions, because questions are how we learn. So I have Miss Ario's first email question. Let me just get, get back here. And actually, um, Kyle, yeah, Bolia. Well, um, could you actually read the question? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, here it says, "Who made God?" So someone is wondering, who created God? <laughs> well, I I can answer that for you, and maybe you could help me, Kyle. Okay. Well, you know we can answer all these questions with the word of God because we have all of our wisdom from the Bible. And that's right. So um, the answer is that no one created God because God created everything. And you see, God has always been. He has always existed. He has always been living. <laughs> he was the beginning itself. The Bible says that God created all things, so he didn't really need anybody to create him. In the Bible, it also says that God is the beginning and the end. He was, is, and will always be. So, Kyle, can you say it in maybe another phrase just so it's a little easier to understand? Yeah! You see... Everything else in the world starts and stops, but God has no limits. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. And let's turn to the word to help back up this answer. So I'm going to close the map. <laughs> and I'm going to turn to Colossians 1.17. It says, He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. In other words, well, in other words, before anything was created, God was already there. God holds everything together. And then um, we're going to turn to Hebrews 1, 10 through 12. It says, in the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. You remain the same, and your years will never end. <laughs> God is so awesome. He was, is, and will always be an awesome God. Thanks so much for learning with us this time. And remember, if you have a question, just send an email to Miss Ario. Or have your parents do it, because I don't really know how to send emails yet either. <laughs>